Alright, the first step in making a never booted Mac OS X image would be to go out to the App Store and get your OS of choice. We're going to go ahead and download ours here. It's going to ask us if we're sure we want to do that. You do need to be running the same OS that uh, you want to uh, package up. So here we're running El Capitan and we're going to get El Capitan. We're going to get a little pop-up from our Casper JSS. We just do that on our environment here. Um, not all Macs will get that. That's environment specific to us. We'll go ahead and quit the Mac OS X installer, quit the App Store, and we'll go launch our third-party Auto DMG app. And we'll go ahead and drop in our Mac OS X package. It's going to examine that, figure out what build it is, and figure out what updates have come out that will need to be packaged in there. We'll go ahead and download those. That way our Disk image is uh, up to date as much as possible, saves bandwidth later down the road. You won't need to re download those updates over and over after deployment. We also have additional software. So I'm actually going to put a packaged installer from Create User PKG. It will make us a local admin there. Granted, if you have Casper or JSS or another mobile management software, you'll be able to make users through that. But this will allow you to make a local admin that will be there as soon as it's booted up. Other packages could be put in that additional software, such as Flash or Java, if you want to build that in as well. So we'll just go ahead and build that package with our local admin, and then we'll uh, save it to the desktop, and we'll drop it into our additional software here. And then with that in there, we'll make sure we got our updates, we got our package, and we'll go ahead and we'll hit Build. Save it to the desktop. And of course, it gives us the name there with all our pertinent information. We'll be prompted for our local user. We'll put our local user password in, and once you've done that, then we'll go ahead and wait for it to build. When it's building the package, what it's going to do is it's actually going to just run the install as if you were running it on any other machine, but it's going to run it uh, so it's never been booted. It won't be machine specific and you'll be able to use it across all your product lines. And now with it done here, it's spat out a about 8 gig disk image and we can drop that into our deployment tool then.